Hey everybody, Josh Eaton here, AshlandNews.org. I'm about to play a uh, audio clip of a illegally recorded conversation from myself, Ashland News, to Massachusetts State Police uh, a couple of days after the killing of Andrew Stigliano by Ashland Police officers. Um, now, yeah, supposedly this recording was illegal uh, because the the second party is supposed to know they're being recorded. Uh, but it actually is legal because he did know he was being recorded, as you will see. And since, you know, Massachusetts is already leveling false charges at me uh, regarding, well, a few things, but regarding the uh, police, you know, that, that ridiculous oath-taking ceremony administered by General Scavi, the town manager, uh, that was immediately broken. Uh, anyway, so why not add one more charge, right? Um, uh, let's see. A lot of statements have been made by Board of Selectmen, Board of Selectmen candidates, uh, Town Manager Scavi, of course, General Scavi of the Air Force, and uh, Police Chief Craig Davis. Statements that say, we're not going to dig up the past. We're not going to, you know, uh, go after old issues in the police department. And basically, that's doublespeak for saying that we're not going to hold officers accountable for crimes. And when they say that, not only do they mean they're not going to look into past crimes, uh, but they're not going to look into current crimes, as they're not doing right now regarding Sergeant Greg Fox. And more importantly, they're not going to look into future crimes committed by these guys, the Wolf Pack. Uh, Lieutenant Briggs, Chris Alberini, recently promoted to sergeant, uh, and others I won't mention. No, the precedent has been set, and these cowards, from Chief Davis to General Scavi to every member of the Board of Selectmen, will continue to cower to these couple of bad apples, uh, these union-backed, state prosecutor backed thugs and gang members lieutenant briggs is a member of the renegade pigs motorcycle gang and chris alberini frankly is, is a psychopath and everybody knows it everybody around town locally knows it this recording is again it's in regard to the stigliano killing uh there are people around town who have seen and know the truth uh they're just too scared to say anything I know who they are, but I'm not going to call them out. But I just want to say that uh, it's very disgraceful the way basically pretty much, I mean, most of the Ashland police officers have acted. Even, even guys like you, Brian Jewett, who was at the scene of the killing and wanted to tell the truth but was just too scared to do it, you're going to be held accountable too. The truth is going to come out, and you guys are all going to go to jail. Some more than others. You can mark my words on that. It's despicable the way General Scavi of the Air Force, the town manager, right down the chain of command, has tried to bury the truth, tried to bury me. I have a real problem with that. You're not going to bury the truth, and you're not going to bury me. So here's the recording that I made, and uh, I'll be back with a follow-up. Uh, hi, Mr. Saunders. Josh Eaton calling. Ashley and his daughter. I was getting an echo here. Um, yeah, I, I just called um, the FBI. I've been trying to get them to come uh, investigate also. And they assure me that you guys are conducting a thorough and uh, investigation with integrity. Now, there's some things that... Go ahead. Sorry. What were you going to say? No, I'm listening. Well, I've been to the crime scene, and it doesn't jive with what you guys are saying. So, uh, okay. how does uh, uh, how can how can the DA say he was shot in the attic? I've been up in that attic, and there's no blood up there. There's also no blood in the house that you would expect from people trying to carry to an injured or dead person through there, or officers if they get blood on them, uh, you'd expect something, and there's nothing. So, I'm just wondering how you can uh, explain that. Um, is there a time that I can meet with you in person? 
Um, I don't know. Well, I, can you answer that question? I don't know. What do you want to What do you want to meet with um, me for? Do you want to arrest I, me I for something? Like to, well, I'd like to. Uh, no, I don't want to arrest you. I want to speak to you about uh, this case. So if I can meet with you in person, if there's a time I can meet with you, uh, could you let me know? Um, I guess you could swing by the house anytime. I mean, I'm around today. What's your address? In Ashland. Ashland? Yep. Okay. And uh, what's a good time for you? Uh, I'm around all day. Just let me know when you'll be here, and I'll be here. Are you around tomorrow at all? Uh, it's tomorrow, Wednesday. Yeah, I'll be around until about 4, 4.30. So morning until 4, 4.30 tomorrow? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, is there a number I can reach you at? Uh, this number is the best one, 508-405-9722. Okay, I'll call you back and I'll let you know when I'm going to meet with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Who the fuck is he? He's recording me. Who is he? He's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking everyone in Ashland thinks he's just funny. But this guy is like an instant food party. And he has a website that's basically dedicated to fucking the Ashland police security. And he does all kind of fucking interviews. He interviews the victim and his girlfriend, and he basically says that, you know, what he's saying is that he shot this guy outside. You know, so basically, you would have to shoot him outside of his fucking house, drag him into the fucking house, stuff him in the fucking attic, and then put the fucking dog on him after he's dead. And then go back outside, clean up the fucking blood that you've just fucking, you know. Did he go into the house? That's what he's claiming. How would he get in? You could fucking go. The girl would let him in. Yeah, the girl would let him in. So now he called the fucking FBI. Who called fucking headquarters wanting to report? Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> this Tony you fucking kid came right after me. Um, it's Indy, man. Whatever. So that's pretty much it. I just uh, took the raw video and I had to edit it to try to turn up the volume. Uh, I couldn't turn it up enough for that whispering. Um, as you can see, I don't have the time to make high quality videos, but this is important news that needs to be known the culture of uh, Massachusetts officials, many of them. He went from sounding like a professional gentleman to sounding like a gangster, like Joey Soprano or somebody. Uh, I mean, there's a few points I can make. The biggest one is that the they didn't intend to comply with the FBI's uh, demands or requests for reports. <clears throat> uh, I made that clear with, get the F out of here and F you. Uh, like I said, sounding like a, more like a Joey Soprano than a police officer. Uh, this was in the first few days after the shooting, and um, I think it's before they really got involved. Um, I did take him at his word. I was willing to meet with him, uh, you know, and take him on his word that he wanted to do a uh, talk about the case and maybe do an investigation with integrity. But, uh, yeah, he must have somehow gotten wind. Uh, that I had heard that and probably recorded it and uh, called me back up. He was pretty angry and uh, didn't want to meet after that. He wouldn't meet. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this is supposedly illegal under Massachusetts law, but since he said that, um, he said he's recording me, he's recording me. You know, back it up, you'll see. Uh, so he was aware I was recording him, um, it wasn't illegal. That's what I. That's what I'm saying. Um, that's about it. It's not illegal in most other states, but anyway, he was recording me. That's what that echo was at the beginning uh, that I was hearing that I had mentioned. Um, anyway, Josh Eaton, AshlandNews.org. Thanks for watching.